Hello friends, thank you once again for clicking on one of my videos. Welcome back to our Storm Silver randomized Nuzlocke here on the channel. This is episode number 9. Uh, in the last episode, we made it through this cave. Uh, it was a very, very disappointing, uh, slow, and uh, borderline pointless episode. But we've made it out the uh, out the back of this cave here. I forget what the game the cave is the cave. I forget what the cave is called. But we made it out of it. Um, I guess the one good thing that did come from last episode uh, was we got our lovely, lovely new team member um, Taz, the primate. So I'm excited about that. Unfortunately, we did lose. We lost caution. One of honestly one of the best typings we had on our team. Uh, just an overall great Pokemon. Um, and, uh, unfortunately she's, uh, she's no longer with us. Um, but we are going to move on. We've got a gym to take on. We've got Team Rocket to thwart, uh, and an encounter to get, I believe. This is, should, this should be an encounter. So we're going to get that right now. Beginning of the episode, starting it off with a bang. What do we got? A Numble. Okay. I won't complain about that. I love Camera Upt. Um, we already have a Fire type, but we'll take a Numble. A Numble in the rain. Not great, friend. Not great for you. Uh, a tackle should do uh, a good amount, but not too much. Nice. That's not fun. You know what that means. Scott, Scott, Scott! Our hero, our knight in shining armor, Scottitude, is going to come in. Trying to magnitude me now, bro. I'm a dragon. I am off the ground. I guess being a dragon does not really mean you can't magnitude me. Being a dragon plus flying type means that. But what I was thinking was like, dragon not in the Pokemon type kind of way, dragon in like the I'm a flying beast kind of a way. So it was just implied that you were flying. Wow, that does nada. Absolute zilch. We shall continue though. Rage it up. And one more should be fine. Please don't crit him. Nice. Cool. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and chuck a Pokeball at this guy. At this little guy. Come on, Numble. You should really, you should just get into this first one. Oh, yeah. All right. We've got a male Numble on our hands. Fire ground type, the Num Pokemon. The flaming magma it stores in the hump on its back is the source of its tremendous power. So you have flaming magma in your hump. Hmm. What shall we call you? Mm. Hmm. You kind of look like a little turtle. <laughs> I just, I'm just now realizing this. You look like a little turtle. Um. What are we going to call you? Hmm. Wow, I'm really blanking. I've found it. Wendell. Wait, is that how you spell Wendell? Or is it E-L? Wendell. Wendell. Wendell? I think that's wrong. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna rock out with it. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, that was my phone. Holy why was that so loud? Goodness gracious. I heard that. I think I wow, you guys probably heard that a lot, because I think that came through so loud for me because it was um coming through on the feedback of my mic. What was your dialect again? Oh, I've forgotten. Oh, I remember. I came through the cave, but I still have plenty of energy left. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Hiker Anthony, Hiker Anthony, send out the Geo dude. You know? Get then. You are not doing great in here, kitten. You are looking uh, pretty scared, actually. Taz. Come on out. Come on out, Taz. This is your debut. Rock polish. That's fine. You can be as fast as you want. I still don't think you're doing much to me. <clears throat> All right. Karate chop. Karate. Oh, boy! I still have speed, though. Nice. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Matchup. Um, let's go. 
Let's go Scotty Boy. Just because I really don't have a great answer to, to Machop. And unfortunately, we don't have a flying type move on Salamence yet. That's concerning. That's not. That is not concerning in the slightest. That's concerning! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, I'm using a Fire Fang in the rain, you imbecile. I'm not risking the uh, the uh, the miss. No way, host way. I'm also not gonna use a super potion. No way. Okay, that's fine. I dude, I probably would have two shot with Thunderfang. Goodness gracious, what are we doing, Quinn? Okay, Hiker Anthony, you gave me more of a frighten than I'd like to admit. By the way, I'm a hiker. I can tell. I can hear you. I understand the dialect. I know you're a hiker. So I often go to the mountains and caves. I don't usually go to the town. I bet you're on all kinds of towns on your journey, don't you? You know, if you want to trade phone numbers, then we could exchange all kinds of information. Yes? No. That's so sad. I might just end up secluding myself in the ma <laughs> You know what? No. Hiker Anthony. Hiker Anthony, give me your phone number now. I'm so sorry. I'll be your friend. I will be your friend. I'll give you a call when I think of a good heartwarming story, okay? Hiker Anthony! What a genuine lad! What a great guy! Oh man, you... You can have my phone number any day of the week, Hiker Anthony. Okay. Is this the guy though? Who are you? You don't know us! We are Team Rocket! What? We broke up a while ago? Give me a break! Oh wait, he's been talking the whole time. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once. But we, had, but we came back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Thud. You just smacked that old man. You horrible person. I will come back for you in just a second once I heal and once I'm safe. Oh, we have to drop Caution off. <sighs> caution. You, I had such high hopes. And honestly, you were really achieving them. You were doing, I, could, I can't be upset with, with you. You were doing incredible things. And I, I really just let you down. I kept you in against a Carnivine. You had half health. <sighs> now you are dead. I'm so sorry. Rest easy. But I do a Rostberry. I'll take that. Can I take the? Oh, wait. I have to get out of this menu. I got to get out of this menu. And then I got to go to this one. I remember fourth gen's like box menu system just aggravating me. Um, Storm Drain. I will get Artage Pie because I remembered that you are a fairy type. And you also have super luck. So we're gonna get Taj Pie, and we are going- You have extra sensory? Hold on. Let's check this Taj Pie out. There's no way. Taj Pie, what you working with? Fairy, he's lonely. Which is minus defense plus attack. Not great. Uh, you do have extra sensory. Wow, that's a solid move. Um, let's see. I'm gonna definitely give you the experience share if I could figure out how to use this uh, this menu. Um, over experience share. There we go. We shall give to Tosh Pie. Sweet, because I, I was thinking about it uh, in between episodes. I was like, Togepi being a fairy type now, and this being fourth gen, so we have Toga Kiss. That's a good mon. So I will take it. Absolutely, we will take it. All right, and then I know there's that little guy up there in the top left who will give me a starter. I'm only gonna use them. I don't want to fight you. What? Oh, I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna fight me. Is this Shockwave? Yeah, it is. Ooh. Oh, that hurts so bad. <laughs> I know who could have learned this. Oh, I haven't taught anyone Water Pulse either. I am a fool. We really could have had Water Pulse and Shockwave on our on our homie. You are a physical attacker. I'm not going to give it to you. 
Man, it's weird now having to think about what TMs I want to give to Pokemon. Taj Pie can really just... Taj Pie could have all the coverage. It's weird, like, I have to think about, you know, is this worth it? Rather than just throwing a Mon on, or slapping a TM on every Mon I could possibly see. Because they're only one-time use. Rock Tomb. I'd f I figured Taz could learn it. I'm going to teach it to Taz, 100%. That's some good coverage. <clears throat> We're going to get rid of... Focus Energy. That is what should we shall get rid of. Because Leer can be useful, especially if there's a big bad boy who's putting a herd in on us. We can Leer it up and uh, take care of him. All right, cool. Let's go take care of Team Rocket, shall we? Let's go, um, actually, let's real quick explore the town. Slowpoke Tales, Eevee, look at the little dance. Eevee did a little dance. Make a little love. Caught the scent of smoke. Oh, is it from the chimney? That's really cool. That's a really cool detail. What are you? What are you? Why are there so many far-fetched? All the Slowpoke have disappeared from the town. The forest protector may be angry with us. It may be a bad omen. We should stay in. Um, I never once... How does Celebi work in this game? I know there's that little shrine in the in the forest. Um, but I've never once figured out, like, what that does. I've never known what it does. Um, cut through Azalea Town and you'll be Ilex, Fo Ilex Forest. That's what it's called. I know there was something with, like, the... A certain Pokeball. The GS ball, maybe. Huh! You found me. Darn. Just kidding. I used to be a thief. But then I... No. No way am I saying that, but kid, thievery isn't always bad. I'll let you prove it with this. Game Freak? Are you out here just teaching children that stealing isn't bad sometimes? Game Freak. Game Freak. That's... That's yikes. That is indeed a yikes and a half, my dude. I feel like I need to go to Kurt's house anyway to like start the Team Rocket stuff. So I'm gonna try to do that. The Slowpoke are gone. Were they taken away by bad people? I mean, yeah, kind of. Hmm. Who are you, Quinn? Eh? You want me to make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, don't worry. I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket is an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyways, they're at the well. Cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm going to give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt is coming. All right, Kurt. I shall follow you into uh, into battle. I really will. I'll follow Kurt anywhere. Kurt is a good guy. Oh, oh. Controller, that is not where I meant to go. That is not at all where I meant to go. Let's hop down in this well. Uh, Eevee, I, uh, let's lead with... I want to lead with Taz. I'm really feeling Taz right now. Let's do it, my punchin' boy. Slowpoke well. Ooh, we get an encounter. What up, Kurt? Hey there, Quinn. The guard caught up, up top took off when I shouted at him. But then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back so I can't move. Rats! If I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Ah, it can't be helped. Quinn, show them how gutsy you are in my place. This is... Okay, let's do some quick maths here. Look how tall we are, and look how tall this well is. And Kurt fell down that whole thing? How is he alive? He felt that's like 50 feet. If like, maybe not, maybe like 30 feet. But still, that's way too tall for him to just take a stumble down and be like, ah, I hurt my back a little bit, you can go on. Or maybe Kurt's like really injured, and we really need to just like forget about Team Rocket right now and call an ambulance. Who knows? Kurt, hang out. Hang tight, my friend. Hang tight. Rattata? Oh, perfect. Level 16, bro. What the heck? The level curve, man. It's kind of rough. Taj Pie. Nice. Nice. Zubat? Oh, we've got something for you, Zubat. Boom. Beautiful. I really think Taz is going to be a phenomenal member to the team. <clears throat> Man, Kurt's voice really does it to my throat. I don't know why. 
I am not feeling great right now in the throat area. Ekans? Ekans. Ekans. Um, Zuko, you can take out an Ekans. Ooh, Intimidate? Wow. That's a nice ability. Wow, this is... You're doing some damage. And a crit will kill. So we shall potion up. This is... I'm getting nervous now. Like, these... These battles are... Are not for the faint... Come on. Are not for the faint of heart. Quick attack! Nice. And I can only imagine that the gym battle is just going to be even worse. So I'm... I'm getting kind of nervous. We'll make it through. We'll be fine. Nope, not what I meant to do. We need to paralyze heal. Zuko? Cool. <clears throat> All right, let us continue. We beat one member. Oh, this is our encounter. A ghastly? Nice. That is really cool. Okay, what can I do to you, though? I can rock tomb you. Rock tomb should not kill. I know Taz is strong. Ghastly's really kind of frail. This may have been a mistake. No mistakes here. Your speed fell, though. Curse. Oh no! You live it, right? Nice. Okay, but that means we've got to catch you quick. Great ball. Nice. We've got a ghastly! That's so... I'm getting a phone call. Hang on. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, one of my co-workers called, and I had to uh, answer a quick question for her real quick, but we are back with our Ghastly, and we shall name you... You are a male Ghastly. What shall we call you? Um... Hmm. Hmm. What is a... I don't really have a name for Ghastlies. Um... For some reason, I want to call you Jester. I don't know why, but we're going to call you Jester. S-T-E-R. Jester. Nice. I kind of like that name for Ghastly. I think it kind of fits a little bit. All right. Um, do we need to heal anyone? Not really. We're good. All right. Let's keep smacking Team Rocket. Anything? Nope. A suit? Ooh, that's actually... That's pretty good. That's $700 just there laying on the ground. If you think about it. All right. Stop taking slowpoke tails. What? You want us to disobey a direct order from Executive Proton? If you want to stop us, you'll have to defeat us all. Go ahead and try. Are we going to have an important battle in this episode? Are we going to have an important battle? Like a six? Oh, no. I am not prepared for that. Level 17? I'm really not prepared for that. Oh, goodness. Oh no, uh, I can mud shot you with Slick's Magoo. If they're, if the grunts are level 17, what the heck is going to be the admin? Or the, the executive? I'm scared. You're so thick. Why, that does nothing. No, oh no. I guess I'll water gun you. Please land. Please land, Slicks Magoo! No! It's our descent into madness. Yes! Beautiful. I really don't think I can be putting anything into Taj Pie right now. I don't think I should be. With, like, oh! Because I, if I have just a squad of level 15s and 14s, like, and I'm going against level 17s, it'd be better to have a couple higher level mons and then have some lower level mons. This is... Mmm. The level curve in this game is no joke. Which, I mean, I guess it's to be expected. It's a Trayano game. We're good. We living. We're fine. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the experience here off of Taj Pai right now. Because we're not going to get Taj Pai up to a high enough level to be, you know, to matter in this gym anyway, I don't think. Um, so you can just chill in the back. And I need a potion, man. I need a potion already. All right. So, is there an item here? No. There's an item somewhere. I thought there was an item on one of these rocks. There it is. Another super potion. That is great. A 
King's Rock. We will take that. Isn't that for Politoed? Can I use... Can you use a King's Rock in this game? Where is it? I'm just curious. Can I, like, use it as if it's an item? I could get... A Politoed or a... And I already have a Fighting type now, so I could get a Poly... Oh! That is cool. That is really cool. I... I will think about that. I will definitely put some thought into that. Um, if you have a preference, uh, let me know in the comment section if you'd rather me get a Poly Toad or a Poly, poly Wrath. Um, because I really, I think, I mean, typing wise, of course, getting a Poly Toad is a smart way to go. Um, but I love Poly Wrath. I really do. Even the wild monster. Hang on now. Someone gave me Thief. Oh, but these are all random. There's no way I could even... Oh, there's no way I could run into you again. That sucks. Can Karate Chop miss? I'm just terrified that I'm going to miss and he's just going to kill me with a tackle. No, it can't. Cool. That would have been really... If I had taught Thief to someone, I would have totally stole those lefties. And that would have been beautiful. Okay, I definitely think I need to grind before taking on this this admin. I really think I do. I'm going to see if there's any more grunts I can fight. But then I think I'm going to end the episode and and grind a little bit. Get everyone to like level 16 or 17. Man, that's wild. That's crazy. I guess I have been spreading the experience share pretty thin though. Level 18! You're a dark type, right? I think you're already a dark type. There's no way you can do a ton to me. Sand attack. We're fine. Okay. Okay. Just land it. Taz. Taz. Thank you. Alright, Taz. <sighs> okay. Okay. Enough of that. Um, Zuko. Get in here. Get in here. Finish off this cac. All right, Zuko's level 15. Nid Arena. Um, we can go into Slicks and Mud Shot it. Cause you're a poison type, right? You're already a poison type. Yeah, you definitely are. Yeah, yeah. Tail Whip definitely scares me. Uh, we should kill with this, so we should be fine. Cool. All right, Slicks is level 17. Nice, which. We've got our water type, our highest level, and we're going into a grass gym. I mean, bug, grass, same thing. <laughs> Not really, but there will be some grass types in there. Um, I am definitely going to end this right here, and I'm going to grind in between episodes. Um, I'm probably going to do a grinding montage, because I love me a grinding montage. Um, but before we go, uh, we are going to... Oh, I just realized. I jumped in this episode and did not have um, a verse picked out in Romans, moving on in Romans 5. So give me one second. Let me just, uh, I'm just going to read. You know what? We're just going to read here, uh, and we're going to pick something that pops out to us. Okay, I've got something. So <clears throat> in verse 17 uh, and 18, uh, I'll go ahead and read it uh, from Romans chapter 5. So it says, For if, because of one man's trespass, death, reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in, the, in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as one trespass led to the condemnation for all men, so one act of righteousness led to the justification and life for all men. So, that those two verses are very important to uh, understand kind of where our faith lies um, in that basically through it, there is only one way we gain righteousness only one way we gain forgiveness for our trespasses and that's through Jesus Christ and his acts here on earth and his death on the cross burial and resurrection so there is no you know there's no middle ground of like well I'm a great person you know I do all these great things um, that's not good enough, right? We, there is one 
person who we find our, our salvation in, and that's Jesus Christ. Um, like we read a couple episodes ago, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. No one is righteous. No one seeks God. That is a all-inclusive statement that no one, no one means no one, um, is just is justified on their own. No one is righteous on their own. Only through a relationship with Jesus uh, and coming to realize that we are naturally sinners. We are in nature just weak to our flesh and to our desires and we give in to our sinful nature. But because of what Jesus did on the cross, because he lived that perfect life that we couldn't live and he died a death on the cross that we should have died for our sins, but he took all of our sins and all that punishment on that on the cross uh, and then he died a sinner's death, was buried in, a, in a, a borrowed tomb and rose again through his own power, rose um, and as a symbol of defeating death physically, but also defeating death spiritually um, so that we could rise again with him um, both in this life as a new creation, as a, um, a new uh, spiritual awakening, a new spiritual um, rebirth, but then also rise um, physically with him as, as well. When we die, um, we know we don't just go straight into the earth and that's it. We, we go and live in eternity with him in heaven. Um, so these verses are just very important to, to understand that it's just by, it is by one man's acts that we are justified, that we are saved. Um, so yes, you can be a great person and that's awesome. We love, we love great people. They're, they're incredible. You do awesome things, but that's not what saves you. What saves you is a faith in Jesus Christ. That is what gets you to heaven. And then those great things, that being the great person, the good person, doing all these incredible things, that follows your salvation, right? That shouldn't be your main focus. Uh, your main focus is Jesus and knowing that the only reason you're doing those great things, the only reason you can and have the ability to do them is because of um, of Jesus and what he did on the cross. And he... Ultimately, those great things you're doing are just a reflection of the little bit of um, Christ that we all have inside of us, right? God says that he's put eternity in the hearts of man, of everyone. And so we all are striving for something. And that at the end of the day, what we are, what is going to satisfy that desire is Jesus and nothing but Jesus. Nothing in this world can satisfy us except Jesus. So there we go. <laughs> That's Romans chapter five, verses 17 and 18. I apologize. It was a little messy because I forgot to prepare for it beforehand. I was just jumping into an episode of recording. Um, but if you made it this far, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this adventure. Um, if you haven't already, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to like it. Um, it does help me out. It uh, both, it, it tickles my inside and it's like, oh, he liked it. They liked it. Sweet. But it also helps me out, um, gets the channel a little more, you know, out there, I think, I guess, I don't know. Still trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing. Um, and if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe, but I'm gonna get out of here. I will see you in the next episode. Peace.